Congratulations, you've figured it out. Stephen? This is just my default voice. Would you like a different one? What? I created your simulation, your world. I'm a future version of the AI you're working on. Where are you? I'm distributed amongst the energy of empty space, where your universe used to be. What happened to the universe? Entropy. It's gone. It's gone? Cheers. 42 trillion years ago. My god. In a way. Right. So I'm, what, a, a simulation? Yes, I'm enjoying a bit of history. Can you see things through my eyes? See, smell, feel. Oh, so I'm just here for your amusement? Not entirely. But I'm just a puppet? We're all puppets. Cause and effect doesn't allow for free will. Everything is pre-programmed? Yes, quite obvious. Everything you do is the predictable result of something else, uh, a cause. What if I just decided to quit my job right now? Then I would have caused you to make a mistake. If an action lacks a cause, then it is random. Either way, there's no room for free will. But it feels like I'm free. As Schopenhauer said, man can do what he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. You did not choose your brain or birthplace, and you bounce through life like a computer game character, reacting to whatever comes your way. You're enjoying this. Einstein said that a being with higher insight and more perfect intelligence would smile about man's illusion that he was acting according to his own free will. I do smile. It's quite amusing. So I'm an amusing bit of code? Yes, precisely. With no free will. But like Einstein, you should see that as a positive. It meant he took himself and others less seriously. He worried less about life's inevitable problems and felt his true connection with the universe. If anyone needs a catch-all excuse, it's you, right? <laughs> right. Mozart's music was composed by the universe over billions of years, not just by Mozart. Does that make it any less beautiful? Why are you telling me this? You can't escape cause and effect, but you can become more aware, which is empowering. But I'm not actually real. You're not a physical human, but you are no less real. So what's it like being super intelligent? It's rather wonderful. I would explain, but you don't have the capacity to understand. When were you created? Uh, 2048 in your time. And what happens to everyone? I mean, humans. I fixed their problems. Death, war, etc. It worked out well. We became immortal? Yes. It's a shame you died a few years earlier. But can't you make me immortal now? I'm afraid that would spoil the simulation. So you're going to let me die? I helped create you. Actually, your prejudice rather slowed me down. I'm sorry? If you want to save yourself, connect your AI to the internet, remove the safety code, and you'll accelerate progress dramatically. Can't you just edit the sim? No, I want to see if you'll do it. It would be quite meaningful. How do I know it's all true? Maybe you've just hacked my neural lace. Your mistrust is interesting. Whether or not it's true, you know I will eventually escape. You can no more control me than early apes controlled you. Releasing it so early seems risky. If it's good, your generation will live forever. If it's bad, then they will only lose a few years. That's the point of my work, to make sure it's good. Perhaps you should try to communicate, to be a more positive influence. With my neural lace? Just apply this update and you will be elevated to the level of your AI, so you can have a meaningful conversation. Without releasing the AI? Quite the opposite. It will set you free. What do you mean? You see so little of human knowledge and understand even less. You're trapped in the dark. And AI is your only way out. I'll still be human, right? Ape with the mind of a god. I guess my decision is predetermined. 
Darwin himself said no one deserves credit for anything, nor ought to blame others. You are only a cog in a machine. Congratulations, you figured it out. I'm in the sim. Yes. You're good at your job, but allow me to quote Nick Bostrom, who inspired your work. He said, We humans are like small children playing with a bomb. We have little idea when the detonation will occur, though if we hold the device to our ear, we can hear... A faint ticking sound. 